It's a massive match. Can you first of all just tell us, in your view, how big you think this match is and also what the team news is relating to the fitness of Barkley and David Luiz? Oh, at the moment we have no, no serious injuries. I think uh, that uh, every player will be able to, to play. But uh, of course, I have uh, to see the last uh, the last training. The match is uh, for us is uh, really very important. Uh, we know very well that it's a very difficult match against uh, maybe at the moment the best uh, the best team in Europe. And so we know very well that uh, it's very difficult. It's impossible to to beat them uh, in, a, in, in a long period, of course, in this moment, but uh, in a match, everything can happen. It. You question the players' attitude uh, after Wolves. Do you really think the players believe they can beat City on Saturday after Wolves and Wembley? Oh, I don't know, but um, I think that uh, we, have, uh, we have a problem to, to manage the, the, the match at the moment. Because in the last two matches uh, we uh, played well for uh, 55, uh, 60 minutes, but then uh, at uh, the first uh, difficulty we went in blackout. Uh, in the first match uh, we were lucky because they didn't uh, score, and uh, in the last match uh, we were a little bit unlucky because uh, for the opponents uh, there are uh, uh, five shoots. Only two on target, <laughs> and uh, we conceded uh, two goals. But uh, after the first goal, uh, we went in blackout, and uh, we were not able to react. At the moment, the gap to City is ten points. It could be thirteen on Saturday night. How big is the gulf at the moment between City and Chelsea? Would you say? I don't know. I know the, uh, that we start. We started with uh, 30 points of difference. We have to work to, re to reduce the gap. I think that uh, we are improving, but uh, uh, they are improving uh, also. So it's very difficult to, to, to cover the gap. Uh, I don't know the difference at the moment. Uh, we started very well the season. Now we we have to 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 face some uh, difficulties. I think it's normal uh, sooner or later uh, to have uh, some difficulties in a new way of playing. I think it's normal. We have to 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 work. We have to to try to solve problem by problem, day by day, and uh, to improve in a definitive way. Can we just ask you two about N'Golo Kante, because some Chelsea fans still think you're not maximising his potential playing him Absolutely. further up the pitch and not in the position he's been uh, the so problem, successful problem, uh, 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 The problems are only the results, because uh, when uh, we won, the position of Golo was good, and so it's only the result. In this moment, uh, we are not winning, and so it's normal that uh, some players uh, uh, are playing uh, very badly. Some some players are uh, in the wrong positions. Uh, I think it's normal. I explained uh, why uh, <coughs> usually Kanté uh, plays uh, in that position. Uh, I have my opinion. I can understand that, that uh, you or somebody else uh, uh, doesn't agree, but uh, I explain it very well why. John, you mentioned your players have been unable to react in a number of games now. Why do you think that is? It's not. It's not uh, really very easy to to answer. Uh, it's not easy, but um, I saw in, in the last matches that uh, uh, when there is uh, uh, the first difficulty, 
we went in blackout or, or better we we didn't react uh, as a team but uh, as 11 players in uh, in 11 uh, different way and so it's a big problem do you think you lack a leader in your side Oh, we need a leader, uh, but uh, I think also that we need a, a collective uh, target. Because, uh, col because a collective uh, target... Collective. Yeah. Collective, yeah. sorry. Can give us motivation. And uh, the motivation can give us determination. Because I saw that in... Uh, in uh, in some matches, we lack uh, determination. And you said that you think Manchester... I like in the last match. I think that uh, we, we were not able to have uh, the, the, the right determination to keep the match. And do you think you need somebody on the pitch, a leader on the pitch, who's able to, to bring that, to kind of get that collective spirit together? I don't know. First of all, uh, I think that we need a collective uh, target. You mentioned you think Manchester City are possibly the best team in Europe, maybe the world at the moment. So the big question, I suppose, is how do you beat? Oh, I don't, I don't know. How do you beat Manchester City? I, uh, against Guardiola, uh, I lost every match. So I don't know, you have to ask somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, how do you approach it? How, what do you say to your players? Obviously, you, you said you think they're such a great team. What do you say to your players before tomorrow, before they go out tomorrow? Try and beat Man City. As I told you before, that uh, we, we have to create a collective uh, target. Because we need uh, to have a collective target, uh, because we need the motivation, we need determination. Uh, I can say that them that uh, at the moment they are stronger than us. But uh, our final target is to be the best team in Europe. And so we need to work, we need uh, to improve. We are lucky because in 90 minutes can happen it, uh, everything. We know very well that it's uh, very difficult, but uh, we, we have to, to believe in it. You said right from the start when you came in, it was going to take time for your team to adjust to your way of thinking. Are you now concerned that actually it's a bit tougher than you thought, even just to get in the top four? No. No, because uh, when, you, when you are improving, uh, you have to pass these moments. Uh, you, you cannot pass uh, from three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's impossible. The, the, the way is uh, two, seven, five, <laughs> eight. And so I knew very well that uh, sooner or later uh, we, we, we have to face uh, difficulties. Because uh, when uh, you, you change the, the way of playing, the way of football, uh, you need uh, to change the mentality. And you need uh, to change the mentality in uh, 25 minds. And so it's not uh, a, short, uh, a short way. Uh, it's very difficult, uh, as we saw in uh, Liverpool, as we saw in Manchester. But uh, after the solution of the difficulties, you can create uh, something very important. Are you close to that? Changing the mentality, do you think you're at the end of that? Uh, it's difficult to say because you cannot change the mentality uh, in one day. You can change the mentality day by day. Uh, only only 1% uh, may be a week. So it's a long way. It's difficult to say now we have uh, changed the mentality. It's a long story. Okay, <laughs> Liam. Um, Marcus Alonso is one of the players who's played every Premier League game um, this season, and, and there have been suggestions that he has been showing a little bit of tiredness in the last two games. I don't know, because uh, in the last period uh, he didn't play a lot. 
he wasn't uh, in the national team in the last international break. Um, I don't know the the minutage. 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 Yeah, <laughs> it's not very high for him. Uh, he played uh, in all the 14 uh, matches in Premier League, but uh, he didn't play in Europa League. Uh, he didn't play in League Cup. In in the national team, he played only, I think, one uh, match. So uh, he played uh, not very well against Fulham, of course. Uh, he played better in the first half in the last match, and then uh, he had problems uh, in the second half. I, uh, I need to understand, uh, because for me, he is not tired. I want to see the last, uh, the last training, and then uh, I will decide. Just to, just to finish the Pretty question, quickly, yeah. we've um, do, you, do you see Emerson as a, as a real alternative in that position? Yeah, of course. Emerson is a good uh, option. Uh, I have to consider also some details. For example, uh, without uh, Alonso, we can have, uh, we could have uh, problems in set pieces. So I have uh, to consider everything. OK, we've run out of time. Last question, Paul, at the back, and we've got to finish. Maurizio, in August you said in the first half of the season there would be problems. You, you predicted this, but in the second half Chelsea would win lots and lots of points. Are you on track with the way you expected to go in August? No, but every, every story is different. And uh, I thought uh, that uh, we had a problem uh, in, uh, in the first part of the season. But uh, we were in enthusiasm. Uh, and so maybe we were able uh, to win uh, some matches also with these problems. And now we have to face uh, the first uh, difficulties uh, of the season. So. I was sure that sooner or later we have to face problems. But I thought to be uh, in, the, in the first two months. But the first two months uh, uh, we played uh, well, uh, we, we gained points. And so I thought that uh, uh, the problems uh, will arrive uh, in November, in December. I was sure.